My name is Robert Hunter Goodwin, uh, class of 1996, and uh, I guess my career is kind of multifaceted. Uh, former Texas A&M fighting Texas Aggie, and uh, went on and had a nine-year NFL career. Uh, I own two companies, the Oldham Goodwin Group, which is a real estate company. We do property management, acquisition, disposition, um, development, and I also am part owner in a company called TexAgs.com, which covers uh, A&M athletics. Uh, you know, grew up in a Longhorn house and uh, really had a disliking for Texas A&M as a young kid, but uh, I think the first time I stepped foot on campus, something just clicked and resonated with me. Um, fell in love with the school, fell in love with the culture, uh, just fell in love with, with the traditions, and I think it might not appeal to everybody, but those that it connects with, it's a, it's a great institution. and. Uh, you know, to try to pin down memories that are meaningful, there were so many, both uh, on the field and uh, I guess in the classroom. Uh, I was a major in ag economics and just uh, great affinity for the leadership. Um, they always have a saying in business, it's more about the man than it is the plan, and I think that bodes well here at Texas A&M. Great institution, but the institution's only as good as those people that are there every day. The, the people make it. And uh, one, I guess, college I can speak to is College of Agriculture. Just from the top down, great leadership, great professors. Um, they don't treat you like a number. They really care. They hold you accountable, but like a good parent, I think they, uh, they give you enough rope to, to hang yourself, but at the same time, enough encouragement to succeed. And uh, just a great experience here. So many, I can't really pinpoint one. Um, best times of my life right here at Texas A&M. Well, uh, was drafted here in uh, the 1996 draft, and obviously that career path took me to some big cities. Uh, it was a bit of a culture shock, but this will probably, some will find this funny, but I think my preparation in Ag Eco really helped me to handle uh, an influx of money early as a 21-year-old kid, you know, making a large income and having that responsibility it was really great to have the foundation in academic excellence here at Texas A&M uh, that was given to me via you know the College of Agriculture and also there were just some really great mentors um, some of which are inductees into the Ty Tim registry uh, Bill Carter's a name that jumps out at me was a, he's a financial advisor and was really a great you know, foundation for me, a place to, to bounce ideas and really help cultivate me early in my career to not screw it up and to not lose the money that I was making. And then I think within that, having that nest egg, it was a, it was a great, you know, capital event that allowed me to pursue some other things after football, um, passions that are real estate. Um, I really enjoy the dynamics there and I think as, as our company has migrated heavily into the management side of things um, I find there's a tremendous parallel between football and the management of people um, while you're not trying to win games day by day you are uh, there are victories and you've got to find those and measure those and uh, it's competitive and I think it's uh, all about motivation and reaching people and getting people to aspire to be their best and uh, I love that component. I think that uh, my time here at A&M, my education here at A&M, and I've got to give my, my football uh, background, I've all played major parts in my uh, ability, I guess, to transition from the NFL into the private sector and achieve some success in business. Uh, I think the good thing that I've seen the College of Ag has really blossomed, specifically the curriculum of economics, and they've really opened it up and it's no longer as rigid as it used to be where it's ag, the conventional products of agriculture, corn and farming, and um, they now embrace development, land development, uh, they embrace retail. Um, if you sit in on the classes that Dr. Reiser puts in as a academic professor for a day, 
and you grade some of these programs, they've really opened it up. And economics is economics is economics at its core, whether it's trying to pro forma out how a corn crop is going to do in a 100 acre field or how a mixed use development is going to do in that same 100 acre field. It's all about understanding modeling, understanding risk, and being able to forecast out production with a lot of variables. The variables are different and farming it's rain and some things you can't control but I find in the in the business world especially in real estate there's a lot of interest rates are out of really out of your control um, cap rates, uh, the market being bearish or bullish, uh, the reaction, reaction of capital in the marketplace all those things are very uh, out of your control. They're variables that really are constantly moving and I think what <clears throat> regardless of what the product is that you're trying to put out in the field I think that what I learned in Ag Eco really has helped me uh, be successful. That's, a, that's probably the cha most challenging thing is <clears throat> trying to achieve balance. And I'll answer that with this is there's a, a lady one time, and I won't say her name, but she was elderly, but looked fabulously young. And I'll never forget, I went up to her and I said, what's your secret? Tell me how you're able to look the way you look and have the health you have at your age. And she looked at me and said, I'm fanatically moderate. And I think the takeaway is don't eat too little, don't eat too much, don't work too little, don't work too much. And truly it's, it's balance. And I think striving to always find that balance in your life, if you can find happiness in your home, that's going to segue into happiness at work, and it is hard. I think in this day and age, it's it's commanding, it's challenging. Um, add kids into dynamic. I have two lovely children, and it does. It really. I think you have to become a very effective time manager, which I'm not great. I'm not the best, but I'm working to get better. And in those areas where you're not good, I have people that hold me accountable to a schedule. Um, my administrative assistant helps me to stay on task and on time, but. As a student, kind of going back to your former question, I think that's one thing that you can lose sight of and become so driven uh, to achieve a certain goal that you there's a lot of collateral damage in that achievement, and trying to find balance is one of the hardest things that I don't think you ever perfect. It's kind of like a golf swing. I think you, you work at it constantly and try to achieve it, and it, as long as you're fighting the good fight and trying to work towards it, I think you're, you're doing the right thing. You know, I watched some of the former inductees talk about um, Dr. Tim. I did not know him personally, um, but I watched Bill Carter's one interview that really stood out. Um, one thing that jumps out when you read his bio, honor, integrity, um, high degree of character, and it said almost verbatim that he was really good at trying to find, surrounding himself with people that were better than he was. and so at any given field and that by surrounding himself with really highly talented people it, it enabled him to achieve great success and I think within that that says a lot about the man tremendous amount of humility um, tremendous amount of, of unselfish service so it's a great honor um, great honor just I think I don't know if I deserve to be part of this group um, I think uh, as I was kind of waiting to find out the, or thinking about the right thing to say tonight, um, I think it's kind of like the, the first day that I entered the NFL, I didn't really feel like I belonged, but I, uh, I had a commitment that I would work really, really hard to justify being there, and I kind of feel the same about this. Um, very, very uh, astute gentleman in this group. Um, I don't think I deserve to be a part of it, but I'm going to work damn hard to justify it.